Solving a value mixture problem using a system of linear equations. A delivery truck is transporting boxes of two sizes, large and small. The combined weight of a large box and a small box is 75 pounds. The truck, transporting, the truck is transporting 70 large boxes and 55 small boxes. If the truck is carrying a load of 4,800 pounds in boxes, how much does each type of box way. Now we want to write a system of linear equations in order to solve this word problem. A system of equations means two or more equations. In order to write those equations we need to decide what our variables will represent. So we need to define our x and define our y. We can tell what these variables should represent by looking at what the question asks. It says how much does each type of box weigh? So let's let x equal the weight of a large box and we'll let y equal the weight of a small box. Now that we know what our variables represent, we can look at the information given and write our equations. First, they tell us that the combined weight of a large box and a small box is 75 pounds. So the weight of a large box and the weight of a small box is 75 pounds. The next information they give us says the truck is transporting 70 large boxes and 55 small boxes. If the truck is carrying a total of 4,800 pounds in boxes, that's our next piece, okay? So if they're carrying 70 large boxes and a large bo box weighs X pounds, we have 70 boxes at X pounds plus 55 boxes that weigh Y pounds each, and there's a total of 4,800 pounds. So we've written our two equations, so we have a system. Now I'm going to solve this system of equations by elimination. First step for elimination, we need to choose whether we want to eliminate the x variable or eliminate the y variable. In this case, there's not one that's easier than the other, so I'm going to choose x. The first thing that I want to do is get the coefficients of my x to be the same. So this one's 70 and this one's currently 1, which means I'm going to multiply this top equation on both sides by 70. Because when this multiplies in, I'll have 70x here and a 70x here. So this is 70 is going to distribute. So it's now 70x plus 70y equals, and 75 times 70 is 5,250. And I'm just going to rewrite my second one again because I haven't changed it at all. So there's my new system. Now my coefficients on the x are the same. But they can't eliminate yet because if I added these two equations right now, I would get 140x. They wouldn't cancel out. So I need one of these 70x's to be negative so, that it's, so they cancel each other out. So I'm going to make my bottom equation negative. In order to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by a negative 1. And we'll distribute again. So my first equation I haven't changed, so I'm just going to rewrite it. And my second equation is now negative 70x minus 55y equals negative 4,800. Make sure that every term is being multiplied by that negative. Now my x values are ready to cancel, so I'm going to add my equations together. 70x plus a negative 70x is 0. Those cancel out. 70x plus a negative 55y is 15y. 5,250 plus a negative 4,800 is 450. Oh, 450, excuse me. 
Now I just need to solve for y. So I divide both sides by 15 and I get y equals 30. y equals 30, which y represented the weight in small box of a small box, so a small box weighs 30 pounds. Now I need to find my x value or the weight of a large box. I'm going to go back to one of my two original equations and I'm going to plug 30 in for y. Of these two equations, the first one looks a little bit easier, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to do x plus 30 instead of y equals 75. Now I just need to solve for x. So I subtract 30 on both sides and I get x equals 45. So the solution to this system as an ordered pair is 45 comma 30. Or in terms of the story problem, a large box weighs 45 pounds and a small box weighs 30 pounds. And that's it.